Okay, uh, let us look at this question. The expression for the displacement x of an object undergoing linear simple harmonic motion is given by x equal to 3.5 sine 8 pi t plus pi over 2, where x and t are measured in cm and second respectively. Uh, determine the amplitude, period, and frequency of oscillation and the displacement at this time equal to 0 0.02 second. Good. Uh, one important thing I want you to note here is the unit. Uh, the x, the displacement is in centimeter and time is in second. Uh, this is very important. So, uh, remember uh, here the... Uh, this uh, this displacement it is in centimeter. Ah, so in other words, this uh, amplitude also will be in centimeter. Ah, centimeter. Okay. Uh, so be careful. We need to change this centimeter to SI unit meter. Ah, okay. Uh, this is a displacement equation. Okay. It's a displacement equation. So, the general formula for displacement uh, is x equal to a sine omega t. Uh, still remember, a, x equal to a sine omega t. Let us write it down here. Uh, uh, okay, uh, written down here. So, this is the general formula for displacement. x equal to a sine omega t. However, we, here we saw there is a pi over 2. Uh, this is actually the phi. Uh, or we call it the uh, initial phase angle. Yeah, I write it down. Uh, okay, I written down here. So this um, this one is the uh, this uh, phi is called the phase constant or initial phase angle. Yeah. In other words, it is the initial position of the uh, simple of the object. Uh, initial position of the object. Okay. So, um, and um, this displacement is in centimeter, okay, and the amplitude also in centimeter. Let me write it down in a better way, okay. So, uh, because given the unit of displacement is centimeter, okay, given the unit of uh, displacement is centimeter, so the amplitude must also centimeter, okay. The displacement is centimeter, so the amplitude must also in centimeter. Another thing is about the time. The time given here, second. Okay, second, so the time here is second. Okay. Um, what? Okay, uh, it's second. So, um, omega should be uh, per second. Yeah, omega should be per second. Uh, okay, uh, that's the unit for, for om uh, omega. Yeah, the time is second, so the omega must be per second. Displacement is centimeter, so amplitude must be centimeter. Okay, so now uh, find the amplitude. Okay, so how to compare? Uh, very easily we can compare. Okay, so we already have the, you see here we have the uh, amplitude. Yeah, amplitude is actually 3.5 centimeter. Uh, okay. Uh, so let, let us write it down here. So for the question A, uh, the amplitude is actually uh, 3.5 centimeter. Uh, okay, remember it is centimeter. Centi, yeah? centimeter. Okay, um, period. How about the period? Uh, period, how to find the period? Uh, period we can find from omega uh, because we know. Uh, this one, okay, this omega can be compared with 8 pi, uh, okay, so, okay, so omega is 8 pi, okay, uh, so uh, the unit of uh, omega should be per second or you can write as radian per second, okay, uh, so, um, Omega, what's the formula for omega? Omega is uh, 2 pi f, isn't it? Uh, we learned before omega is 2 pi f or uh, 2 pi over period. Uh, so from there we can find period. Okay, we need a period. So uh, omega is 2 pi over period. Okay, 8 pi. 
uh, so can cancel uh, this is four times is one so um, uh, period is one over four which is 0 0.25 second ah that's a that's the period and how about the frequency uh, frequency very easy uh, frequency is one over period okay so uh, uh, it is a one over 0 0.25 so in the end, we get the frequency is um, uh, four, uh, four hertz, uh, four hertz, yeah? or we, the unit is per second. Yeah. Uh, so uh, that's the answer. Okay, for for frequency. Okay, and compared to the answer, they are correct. Okay, they are correct. Okay, uh, frequency can either you put hertz or you can put as per second uh, it has uh, it has two unit okay uh, one thing uh yeah uh, remember uh, so always remember this one the amplitude always follow the unit for displacement if displacement is a uh, centimeter if displacement is centimeter so this amplitude must be also centimeter because this unit must always follow displacement okay uh, same, same thing for the omega must also follow the time uh, if time is second the omega must be per second because they can be cut off uh, they can be cut off centimeter cut off with centimeter uh, yeah uh, second cut off with per second uh, so that uh, that is how we determine the unit now uh, lastly uh, how about the displacement at this time okay let us find it out uh, so B question B displacement at this time so we just use this equation and substitute this uh, time okay uh, so write, write again the formula write again the formula 3.5 sine 3.5 sine uh, 8 pi t and then what else we have uh, plus pi over 2 okay now Find the displacement at this time so uh, this is a uh, uh, remember this is a displacement time equation okay this is a displacement time equation so if given a time we can find displacement uh, we can find displacement if given time because this is a displacement time equation because we have the displacement and versus time uh, we have displacement versus time so now I want to find uh, the time, the time at uh, 0 0.02 second. Okay, so we just substitute. Remember this, uh, this. Uh, I want to highlight this part. Uh, here, this part is in radian. Uh, you must convert. Uh, you must make sure you you change your calculator to radian, not degree. Yeah? not degree uh, don't use degree it is all in radian uh, because we have pi you see that we have pi uh, we have pi over here uh, pi is in radian okay pi is in radian so all this uh, is in radian make sure you change your calculator to radian not degree okay so now let us substitute uh, the time there the time uh, 0 0.02 second and we will get our answer okay so uh, let's find out the answer ah i got the answer already it is um 3.067 uh, 3.067 uh, remember the unit what's the unit again the x is in centimeter so not meter ah. so the unit is in centimeter so you must write in in a uh, centimeter uh, yeah centimeter not meter uh, don't write meter uh, it is wrong okay you must always refer back to the unit yeah, given centimeter okay centimeter so that's the answer is it correct yeah 3.07 uh, centimeter that's correct Okay, so that's all for this video.
Bye-bye.